What's up guys, Mike Bendy from Federa Guitars. This is my personal mini MG, a little bit customized. You may have seen it before on my Instagram, on Federa's Instagram. We've actually never done a video about it. So now's the time. Little guy packing a big punch. 30.75 inch scale. This guy's got walnut body, alder tone block, three piece maple neck, ebony fingerboard. Matt's got his um, Indian rosewood. I want a little more high end zing. Of course the detuner. I'm going from E to low B. range the range of a six string and five i love this bass so much it's kind of i kind of been spoiled by the 30.75 inch scale it's even weird to go to a 34 inch scale bass now just like a it's like um i don't know if any video game fans out there but it's like a, a game genie cheat code it gives you the sound of a huge bass in a small little package here i can't stop playing this bass so a little personal touches I put on this instrument. I talked to Vinny. I love his designs for pick guards. So I got this amazing tortoiseshell pick guard. I got gold screws there. I got this holly ramp here that kind of follows the contour of the pick guard. Put a little gold knob here and then a chrome a la Joey Loricella. He has that on his personal base as well. I kind of dig it, kind of. It's like parallel line there. It's a nice little personal touch. Look at that paint job. Killer. My neck's all shiny because I play the shit out of this bass. Let's go through some of the pickups. The neck pickup is unbelievable on this. You know what I'm saying, I know you. I see you. Bridge pickup, I, tr I roll my tone down a little bit. I boost the bass a little bit because it's a lighter technique, so it gives me that oomph. I turn down the treble, I boost the low mid and the high mid just a tiny bit. So this has the MG spacing, which is a combination of the 60s and the 70s. So the bridge pickup is in between the 60s and the 70s. So it's giving you like a nice slap tone, but also gives you the fatness of let's say like a 60s jazz bridge pickup. My guy, Jaco Pasturis. It's got amazing tones. I kind of like it right off both pickups slightly towards the bridge. So I get both pickups, but a little accent on the, um, on the bridge. Makes the, I like wide intervals when I'm playing and this makes it effortless. So I can do a fourth, no problem. I can do it. As you may know or may not know, one of my biggest inspirations, Matthew Garrison. He developed a killer multi-finger technique, I guess starting back in the mid 90s. And he developed it from listening to guys like Gary Willis, Dominic Di Piazza, and he just took it to a whole new level. And then me, personally, I just do a bad imitation of Jocko, Matt Garrison, and Wayne Krantz, and I mix those together, and there's a Mike Bendy somewhere in there. <laughs> but primarily, like on Matt's doing, he does mostly four fingers. So like a, a great, easy way to get started. You could do thumb one, two, three on one string, so I'm just gonna do an A. Split it up into octaves. 
octaves, so it'd be thumb one for first. Octave would be two, three. Throwing in like that sharp four. metronome speed it up but it's a it's a great I mean working on that I've been working on it more recently primarily I've been doing three fingers but I want to get been getting this finger in shape and it's such a killer workout you can do scales two per note of a scale that was like a G major scale or four or if you're hammering on you can do five. So I switch between two, three, and four, whatever feels comfortable. The genius part about the technique that Matt developed, and I took as a young man and ran with it and still working on it, never ends. Uh, you could do those fast lines. So if you're doing like a, like a G major seven ar arpeggio. Go to the nine. But with the four fingers, you can go from the lines. And that's killer for the chords or arpeggios. And also, oh man, I was thinking about this. I was talking to my brother, John Benny, the other week. The technique is killer for metal that technique like i've been working on some mishuga grooves big shout out to them those guys are nuts but that whole kind of technique especially with the hammer-ons something like that are endless with this mini MG two finger three finger four finger whatever you whatever you want you can get some sounds out of it <laughs> I'm developing this technique and getting familiar with it I take bass lines I know and I just stop playing with two fingers and using three or four so let's take this lick uh, it's like a, a D kind of blues lick So one, flat three, sharp four, five, seven, flat, dominant seven, right? Then. So my left hand's moving the same speed. Slower. So here's a different angle. You can kind of see my right hand a little better. Same notes. That's the pattern. Then, so slow. Then I'll speed it up a little bit. 
And mix it in with other licks. So it's it's easy on the on the left hand. So it's a that simple pattern. But then just doubling up the notes makes it sound freaking gnarly. I'm here in that D minor. So you could take that classic D minor nine Matt Garrison chord. You could also add the seven on top. All in that one zone. Right? Relative major. Love it. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today, going over my personal mini MG custom. Thank you, Vinny, Joey, Matthew, for coming up with this bad boy. I'm, I'm never going back. The next one is a six string. Mark my words. We'll see you next time. Check us out, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Got any questions about this bass? Want me to send you a personal demo if you're interested in it? Info at Federa.com. Thank you so much. Be healthy, be safe, and we'll see you soon. We'll see you later.